the sun shone brightly as China reasserted its control over the territory it lost centuries ago to the Portuguese. Impeccably turned out in their green uniforms and white gloves, some 500 troops from the People's Liberation Army rumbled across the border into Macau. Many people hope that Beijing will bring an end to the triad gang violence that feeds off the gambling industry and that's forever on the increase. The end of almost four and a half centuries of Portuguese rule was reason enough to celebrate. The former territory is now officially called the Macau Special Administrative Region and will enjoy a degree of self-rule for the next 50 years. Many residents took to the streets to celebrate the handover. Others were just content to witness history in the making. I think for a lot of people it probably isn't um, very emotional, but we'll see after 50 years or so. But China is still missing one piece of real estate. Taiwan is still very much on the mind of President Jiang Zemin. Again, he warned Taiwan against any effort to declare formal independence. Instead, he urged the breakaway province to reunify under the same one country, two systems formula, a system that's allowed first Hong Kong and now Macau to keep their own capitalist systems within Communist Party-ruled China.